In the last video, I demonstrated how allowing yourselves to be ruled by abstractions demonstrates your insanity. Capitalism turns life for the Kamlin into a crapshoot. It turns life into a gamble in ways not reflected in nature. Take the insurance industry. This entire industry profits best from selling you a service that isn't in your best interest. When they undersell you a policy, they profit by being able to deny you the coverage you need. When they oversell you, they profit by charging you for services you'll never use. When an insurance company sells you the correct coverage, they still profit but they profit much less than they would otherwise. This gives the insurance industry no incentive to sell you a policy that's in your best interest. And it makes buying insurance a crapshoot, a gamble. Every time you buy something, you gamble on whether the item was misrepresented through advertising, on whether you can afford the item needed, on whether the item is safe or even functional at all, or on whether the service purchased will be honored at all. When signing contracts, you gamble on whether they will be enforced at all. Some will say, well, life is a gamble. We equalists don't argue that reality, but these capitalist gambles aren't reflected in nature. They're artificial. They're elitist made. There are no insurance companies, no medical costs, no student loans, and no housing costs in nature. These are abstractions created by a mentally ill, predatory elite that don't apply to them. These abstractions that the elite created restrict and harm your life, not theirs. Every time we participate in any predonomic system, we demonstrate symptoms of insanity ourselves. It's not an individual insanity in the classic sense, but more of a social insanity, a group insanity. Let's examine just how deep this insanity goes. In past videos, I also speak of how people tend to despise the elite, yet wish to emulate them. The elite have corrupted their entire species into suffering from the Helsinki Syndrome. The Stockholm Syndrome, where kidnapped victims tend to identify with their oppressors, basically affects victims under individual circumstances. I'm declaring now that the Helsinki Syndrome is the Stockholm Syndrome applied en masse to society as a whole. By forcing us into acceptance of and participation in this corrupt system at birth, we have been essentially kidnapped from birth and we're conditioned from birth to accept our elitist oppression and to identify with those elitist oppressors. Many never come to realize that this isn't natural. This isn't how humanity was meant to live. We've all been mentally conditioned and manipulated into living as the elite want the world to be, not as we want the world to be. The Helsinki Syndrome takes many forms, including hero, hypnosis, and personality cults. These are the worshiping of the elite rather than following whatever individual wisdom these people may possess. Never follow people. Always follow ideas. What good is possessing ideals like environmentalism 
if your leadership don't enforce their own environmental rhetoric and laws. Humans also suffer from the Milgram's effect. This effect was demonstrated by Stanley Milgram in what's become known as the Milgram's experiment. That man in the lab coat creates the illusion of something that isn't real. The man is real. The coat is real. But the lab coat creates the illusion of authority. The lab coat is the abstraction of authority. In past videos, I speak of how people tend to be suspicious of authority, but for some reason, do whatever that authority tells them to do. Both Milgram and Pavlov showed us how the elite accomplish this. The elite have convinced us through symbolism and verbal conditioning that their abstract authority is not only real, but valid. And it's a fallacy in both cases. And this manipulation is heightened yet again when authority is extended to the elite through business. Both Ivan Pavlov and Edward Bernays demonstrated this conditioning and brainwashing. Pavlov showed how easy it was to create automatic knee-jerk responses through repetitive stimulation, through psychological manipulation. Both the liberal and conservative elite used the Pavlov effect on their own supporters. The elite have programmed us into emotional knee-jerk reactions. We've been conditioned to automatically accept the lies of the media, the police, corporate commercials, and government propaganda. Even though we've caught all of them in an endless barrage of lies. The elite call it media spin. Through public relations tactics, our own respective leaders have employed Pavlov's techniques with their own supporters. On the left, we automatically respond to buzzwords like racism, sexism, or inequality. On the right, some buzzwords are socialism, taxation, and equality. Equalists train ourselves to be unresponsive to buzzword manipulation. You've been conditioned to respond to these buzzword stimuli, just like Pavlov's dog was conditioned to respond to that bell. Milgram and Pavlov were actually studying the same thing. The effects of elitist conditioning and just how gullible and apathetic individual people actually are and how that gullibility can be abused to manipulate the masses. Bernays turned that manipulation into exploitation. Bernays used the fundamentals of psychology to teach the elite how to exploit through imagery. When done correctly, consumers make visual connections between things that have no real-world connections. This has led to the governmental use of false flags. Bernays just basically taught the elite how to lie through strategic misrepresentation and fraud. Psychology was intended to diagnose and treat mental illness. It was never meant to be abused to manipulate or exploit. Not to lie or mislead as it's abused in the world of business exploitation through advertising and government manipulation through false flags. Of course, all of this psychological manipulation and exploitation has been used by the elite for 5,000 years. 
that Milgram, Pavlov, and Bernays turn this manipulation and exploitation into a science. The Kremlin must stop its blind admiration of celebrity and wealth. It must stop its willing manipulation and exploitation by media, advertising, and propaganda. It must stop its automatic knee-jerk compliance to elitist manipulation and authority and must stop accepting rule through abstractions. The main reason government and business are so predatory is because the employees of government and business, the people who actually make these entities function, are too quick to do what they're told. Your soul is nothing but your character. And your character is reflected only through your actions. Your soul is corrupted. Stop being sheep. Stop being automatons. Stop doing what you know is wrong. Stop doing what you know does harm to other humans. Say no. Resist. Refuse. Revolt. You people are being played like a fiddle, and you don't even recognize it. I'm tired of saying this, but wake up. Your actions and your apathy are hurting people. Please watch my next video entitled Life Experiment Part F where I'll further discuss the clinical insanity of the elite themselves. Please share this video in my Equalism channel with as many non-predators as you can. Thanks.